Hey guys, Dr. Shemard here, and today I want to talk to you more about type 2 diabetes. Now, type 2 diabetes is a unique and different from type 1 because this individual can still produce the amount of insulin, and that's common, a common misconception that they can't produce insulin. Oftentimes, um, your doctors will tell you, oh, your pancreas is no longer producing insulin. That's not always going to be the case. The real scenario, real underlying mechanism is these cells inside your body can no longer accept insulin, which is increasing your risk of having higher blood sugars. So just to give you a little a background on that, I want you to think of it as kind of like a baseball and a glove. And so you have these little receptors on your cells and the insulin comes in and has to attach to that. And that essentially opens up a channel or a key that allows your sugars to come down from your bloodstream into the cell. And now your cell can produce proper amounts of ATP or energy. And what happens is these little receptors become faulty, like an old baseball glove, and they can no longer hold the insulin. So now where does your sugar go? It stays into your bloodstream, and we get these higher levels and start creating destruction of other cells and areas inside your body. And these symptoms start to develop like weight gain, fatigue, um, brain dysfunction, and et cetera. And the next thing you know, it's more and more medication. So oftentimes the, the scenario is we need to increase the amount of insulin inside your body to try to find any receptor to allow those sugars to come down. When in reality, we should be trying to restore those insulin receptors, which is what we do in our practice.